What is that? The white thing. Now, you didn't even look where you were going at all. Like. It was totally your fault that we had to readjust this. Welcome to the Anger Hour. With Welcome to the Angry Hour with Blake Angry Spios ah! and Brendan Angry ah! Spios. I turned into a bird. I was so angry. Birds make me angry. Does that make sense? So we're actually really close to the end of this game. Um, I forgot how to play. Ah. Ah. So I've actually seen this. What? I know what happened, but that's still a what. <laughs> he he what he did is he pulled a back or two out of and I started the timer. Damn it. So we're the professional grumps. Um, <laughs> yeah, not like those amateurs. We do this professionally, and by that we mean not for money and just for fun. Yeah, basically. There you go. <laughs> okay. So, the point of this game is you're supposed to be, you're supposed to be uh, arranging the marriage of Figaro. Um, but the magic flute keeps getting in the way. So. Man, I wish there was warp whistles in this game. Yeah. For no reason, by the way. They don't really do anything. You just kind of blow on them. So we're playing the um, we're playing the uh, harder Mario game. And then they start casting a Mass Effect spell. This is the harder one, and we're waiting at the end of the game. Are all game are all spells in Mass Effect like um, AOE? Uh, no, they're not. Arts and Entertainment. It's one of my favorite channels. They show poor poor mysteries. Oh wait, I forgot. We're, not, we're no longer in the '90s. Yeah, they no no. That's what uh, Knowledge Network does now. Okay. Hey so guys, BC joke. Could you Photoshop in just like the word BC joke somewhere? Good! You know, You're not good at this game, Blake. I was good at it the last time we played, but now I'm not. You know, um, um, I'm not a 90s kid. I'm an 80s kid, although I was born in 1980, so I was kind of a kid also in the 90s. Yeah. I'm not sure how what that does. I'm that same awkward thing. Well, technically I was a kid in the 90s. But I did all my growing <laughs> up in the 2000s. Technically, you were a kid in the 90s, but you're also not, like, an entitled asshole. So somehow, <laughs> somehow you're a 90s kid, but, like, it just doesn't quite compute. For to be also, I didn't pay attention okay, to wait, pop culture. Do you remember that there's... Aha! Yes! Okay, now it's clicking back into play. It might have been a couple of weeks since we played this. I I'm going to, um, I'm going to, um... Hey! I I I'll take one more turn, because that was the warm-up, and then you can get the next one. Yeah, sure, totally. I I'm not going to beat the last boss on this life. Ha ha ha! Okay, montage of me beating the last boss. What montage of you beating the last boss? <laughs> it's a short montage. Uh, uh, you had you, a... you, you can take over. No, I know. <laughs> you had a full circle of time left, Blake. Because time is a flat circle. So you have the end in sixty left. Okay. Uh, but you, but you <sighs> know, True Detectives reference, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> I feel embarrassed for me and you and all of us. Hey! So me, it is really I feel embarrassed for me, you, and everyone you know because it was there not as go. good of a film as it should have been. It wasn't terrible. Oh, Jesus! By the way, there's a mushroom there. Thanks! It's a poison mushroom, so if I had caught it, it would have killed me. Luckily, I didn't catch it. I just It just killed it me. It just anyway. killed you. So you basically usurped its function? That's right. It, it usurped my function. There you go. Conjunction, junction, watch your mis malfunction there. That's better. That's what I wanted to do this whole time. And now I'm going to jump over this guy so I don't. And jump over this guy so I don't. Okay, that was fun. Um, um, so is there anything um, else um, to I'm say about Melio, really, when you get down to it? Can I say that was a very large, empty space with nothing in it? It was the Lakitu guys probably supposed to be throwing stuff Actually, at you. Actually, it would be sort of strange if it was like... If it was full space? That it was, if it was large, empty space with lots in it. Yeah, that'd be... Really, well, I think... Like, That's a paradox! Full space is like... Smart joke! Full space would be like any, like, Star Trek, where you can't go, like, three feet without running to a spatial anomaly or something like that. <laughs> that would be, that would be, like, uncomfortable if you were just, like, a delivery person in that universe. Whoa! If you were just... Whoa! That looks like it should have not... Like, Alright, so, um, we just delivered you, um, this package. Now, there is an extra fee because I ran into um, a spatial anomaly where I lived for 300 years without, did, um... Do most people realize. just talk in rhyme? What? Why? Was that... Was that yeah, there you, rhyme had some rhyme, you had some rhyme in there. Oh, well, you know what it is. It's British people got all the because mad of, flow. No, no, you had rhyme because mad you had flow. time. Mad flow. Mad, mad, mad flow. Mad flow. So here's my question about the 90s, though. Okay. All right. So, so I am not a 90s kid. I'm not an 80s kid either. That was not fair. Hammer to the face. Okay, your turn. There. Um, we're playing Luigi mode because it's the year of Luigi. 
No, it's not. By the time this comes out, it'll be the year of the Luigi again. Did, like, Nintendo run on, like, a Chinese calendar kind of thing? Like, Zodiac thing? Well, they're Japanese. They're basically the same. That's... Racism joke! Well, I was just sort of thinking that, like, you know, because they have the year of Luigi, and then they had the year of the, uh... Well, no, I guess the games industry does. Because the year before that was the year of the bow, I think. Which year is, like, of the bow? Where there's, like, eight different video games used bows in their game. But, but you know what? First of all, you're my bow. I'm just sucking up balls. That's what makes you my bow! Yeah, no, I'm just saying. I always fall in love with dudes that suck balls. If we're on the last world, we're almost on the last level, you can expect us to die a lot. Yeah. Don't get, don't get too excited with us. Speaking of 90s this. kids, anyone remember Ball Soda? <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> it wasn't as good as people kept telling me it was. I it remember, just tasted I, like an energy drink. I remember Barks. I remember they had those commercials. Barks have oh, bite. Fuck. I think that was like a two thousands thing, actually. Barks have bite. I think so. Or late night, very late nineties. I always thought that like Barks. Why do I still have two lives? Did I get a game over and not pay attention? No, uh, they seem to have given you more lives. I'm not quite sure why. Maybe they continue are continuing Whoa, with the, the number of lives that? we had when we got here. I'm not sure. It seems like we have five lives. I'm not quite sure. Ah. perpetually. I'm not quite sure why that is or how that is. Um. I can't get the feel of this right now. It's weird. Like, uh, you know how sometimes you play a game and you're like, yeah, I got this. I'm not in the zone here, of this precise the moment. Here's the thing. The thing that makes this game hard is it got no flow. The, the, the Mario it does, Brothers... So it's not, a, it's not a delivery from delivery man from Space Britain? <laughs> it's not a delivery man from Space Britain. Delivery man from Space Britain. That's going to be my new TV series. Welcome to the delivery... That's going to be... Oh, I'm going to do a Star... That was nice. I'm going to do a Star Trek spin-off series called Delivery Men from Space Britain. And it's going to be all the cool stuff that they've cut out of Star Trek since they rebooted it. Mm -hmm. But, like, with British accents and, like, Delivery Men. To be fair, they've also cut out British accents out of the new Star Trek. Are there... Were there British accents in... No, oh, of course, there was John Luke Picard, but he wasn't... How am I supposed to do... Oh, there's probably an invisible block I have to hit. And I think there's another way to do that, too. Um... While we're on the subject of... Hey, guys. I love you. <laughs> While we're on the subject of delivery men from Space Britain... Yes? Uh, um, seriously, this would be a fun show. I would, would be. I would want... You know what? Delivery men from Space Isn't Britain... that... That's Doctor Who. Doctor Who is delivery yeah. men from Space Britain. Or the Firefly, but following Badger. <laughs> that would be like... Um, can you imagine, like... like that could be like a Doctor Who villain. Yeah. You know, like a, like a Doctor Who like mini. It's like up next on Doctor Who. You're the delivery man from Space Britain. Can we deliver your packages? <laughs> oh, can we deliver the package? No, you can't. Think about Doctor Who is because I'm the Doctor. The thing about Doctor Who is everywhere is Space Britain. <laughs> everywhere is space. I can't stop dying. I'm I'm like my grandfather. <laughs> <laughs> Grandpa, why won't you stop dying? There's a 90s reference. <laughs> <laughs> he was dead before the 90s. That's an 80s reference, man. Come on. Oh, Grandpa. You're so... All of my grandparents are dead. Yeah. Uh... <laughs> no jokes there. No jokes there. One of them lived to the 90s. Like, she was a 90s kid. Yeah, she, she was also she a goat. Did, she didn't live to her 90s, though. No. She was also I, a goat? That's kind of cruel. Well, because she was a kid. Oh, I get it. 90s joke. 90s, yeah. 90s goat? No, 90s goat. <laughs> 90s, 90s, 90s goat simulator. All right, Covenant. Can I deliver you a package? No, because I'm the doctor. Ba -ba 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 -ba. I like how you give the doctor, like, an evil voice. <laughs> well, because... When has the doctor ever had a voice Cap like this? <laughs> Capelli or whatever he is will have that. Carpa no, I don't. He's, he's kind of he has sort of a cheeky... Sweary voice, not a angry, I'm gonna murder your family voice. I'm the doctor. That's not what he sounds like at all. <laughs> I'm Doctor Who. <laughs> I'm gonna get you in your dreams. <laughs> Oi, listen, I'm the doctor. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'll right, take your nose, right? Take this hammer, drive it up your nose. <laughs> Let's just catch Jason Statham as the next doctor. <laughs> and the next doctor who will be like the doctor from one of those, like, yeah, they call me the doctor because I do a lot of surgery. That's right, I'm paid surgery. On your face. Yeah. Oh, oi, 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 wait, oi, 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 oi. Whatever one offends you, I'm doing them. That's right. If you're offended by peace or if you're offended by up yours, either one, I'm the doctor. I'm gonna <laughs> get you. Uh, Jason, can you? I, I know you're really into improv improvising lines. I don't think he's into we that. need you to do a delivery <laughs> for us. I know we shouldn't have hired the Daleks to be our <laughs> social producer. <laughs> 
I landed on top of that hammer. I'm By Mario logic, I should have gotten points. <laughs> I'm the space delivery boy, and I'm going to deliver things from space, including this baby. This evil baby. I'm the doctor, and I'm going to stop you. <laughs> So, so far in this episode, we've managed to Not... get to the end of one cloud. Yeah. Which, to be fair, is also the entire plot of Final Fantasy VII. So, we did pretty good. It's <laughs> a long game. I hope you guys enjoyed the entire plot of Final Fantasy VII. Yeah. Uh, uh, spoilers, everyone dies but the character you love. Spoilers, environmental activism is confusing. <laughs> Is that really? That's not really what it's about. That's really what it's about. It's really more about a guy trying to connect with his mom, but she's kind of a space bitch. Oh, you're thinking of Final Fantasy VIII. No, no, no. Final Fantasy, no nobody's mom is in Final Fantasy VIII. Oh, They're I see. All I, orphans. I see. Genova. Yeah. But Genova is like this. Is he's he's an environmentalist because they're killing off the bad oil company. No, they also. That's like the first disc. <laughs> Oh, well, the first disc is the whole plot. Is Next time, discussion about the Final Fantasy VII is environmentalist or not. Or maybe we, I don't know, make progress? I feel amateur grass myself, but I don't this know. This company that, that I can't even remember is tearing up the world, yo. Gun hands. Daira. <laughs> Gun hands. Daira. Sh Shira. Sh Shinra. Yeah, that was the pun.